Okay, this person has gained insight or is gaining insight around more of who you are. Um, more of who you are as a person and there's compassion and understanding around that for them, which is a good thing. So let's start this reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel channel <laughs> for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for November. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is timestamped. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera, okay? As I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there could be just messages throughout this that just jump out, you know, and speak to you. And of course, as I always say, use this as a guide to uh, support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. Okay, so I'm just gonna take these in. And I'll be back. So Virgo, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you, okay? I'm picking up as this being your side, Virgo. The person that you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So this connection is in a space where there's a bit of possible downtime. And I say downtime, not meaning there's any separation in that way. But I feel like it's just in a space where it's just processing, processing what is going on around um, and within this connection. And I say that simply because this person who you're dealing with, they're showing up as being very mature, very mature, emotionally stable. Um, and I feel like that's what you need at the moment, simply because you're going through a, a, a phase, I say a phase, because these types of things are phases where you need help, that you need some form of help or support because I feel like you've gone through something outside of this connection, could be something internally, could be something to do with maybe just other areas of your life, but there is this help that you need when it comes to that and this person is showing up as being very much emotionally mature enough to do that, stable enough to do that. And that's how you're very much seeing them, Virgo, is given to you in some way, providing you with something. And it could be just in terms of their emotional support. It could be their financial, you know, finance, finances or money in that sense, or just resources, maybe time even. And it's interesting because they're on some level, I say on some level, <laughs> Virgo, I, there wasn't an acknowledgement of I say wasn't because of where this is moved what's happening at the moment what's bubbling an acknowledgement of your feelings about this person or towards this person it's like you know you didn't want to acknowledge them I would go so far as to say even pushing them down or pushing the feelings down but let me clarify that let's see if we can shed some light on on that for myself mainly also, guys, don't forget to um, check out my Amazon store as well, which should be pinned in the corner above. Um, too many. Yeah, do you see that? It was most definitely not wanting to acknowledge certain emotions or feelings that you had, but what's what was behind what's behind that, and that's leading to where it is, net, where what's bubbling at the moment is wanting to take a risk on that I feel like you didn't want to take a risk on just the some some something to do around your emotions or feelings towards this person but what's coming up at the moment for you and I feel like it's due to them showing up how they are in this time 
is this idea of, aha, okay, you're starting to get ideas of this person being with them. You're starting to get an idea of, is th this person could actually be right for me. And with that comes this commitment. You feeling like, okay, I, I can commit to this person. And I feel like with that, We'll get to that in a minute, <laughs> Virgo. We'll get to that in a minute. This person has a lot of passion, a lot of desire for you. This is how they see in you. This is their thoughts about you. But they are a bit overwhelmed. They are a bit overwhelmed. I feel like maybe they're not used to this or not to say they're complaining because they aren't. They're just a bit overwhelmed. I feel like they've got a lot going on. I feel like what you've got going on, they're kind of really internalizing it and taking it on as their own. Um, but with that, it's like, This foundation, they're starting to think about the foundation that they've laid with you. And they're just starting to maybe question that um, a bit. There's judgment around that a bit. Not for you to panic, because I don't feel like it's in that space. I feel like it's more to do with, and we'll clarify that as well. I feel like it's more to do with just gaining more insight. You know, as you experience or go through experiences with people, you get to see sides of them that, you know, you hadn't initially, yeah, seen, and we've got the sort, the page, yeah, insight. It's insight. So it's not, you know, judgment in that way, because yeah, insight, and with that understanding, with the, with the queen, with that understanding, compassion, empathy, and that's clarified by the Ten of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment that they're still wanting, that they're wanting. They're just wanting to move away from this part. You know, that again, they're still understanding there, but that's that's what they're wanting, is to move away from the heaviness of what you both have had to go through. Because I feel like this person is also internalising that as well. I feel like for you, because, you know, going back to what we was touching on, I feel like for you... It's because of the fact that you was pushing down those emotions or feelings, um, iffy about taking a risk on them, it's causing you to feel a bit overwhelmed by that insight, a bit maybe heavy around that, um, you know, damn, why shouldn't I, why, sh why didn't I see this sooner? Why didn't I see this earlier? And with that, it's causing you to want a, an opportunity to build with this person to actually start something new. You know, usually at this point of the reading, we move into part two, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. But I will be implementing that in January, guys. So just bear with me. But as it stands, yeah, you've got you've got you're you've, you're starting to gain some insight. This person is gaining some insight. But insight, again, like I'm going to stress this is not around. It's not it's not having a, a negative impact on this connection for them. Um, it's more about them knowing more parts about you, them seeing you in a different light, more of who you are, and having compassion and understanding around around that, based on where you're at. So hopefully this is giving some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you soon. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.